Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Claret's Daily News here on Turfcast with me, Joe Redman. Now, somebody did comment on one of my videos over there saying, why do you always start off the video looking so miserable? It makes me think you're bringing some bad news. Well, unfortunately today, there is a couple of bits of bad news. Nothing official yet, so don't panic, but there's some strong links now that a couple of players could be off one of them very strong links and one of the players who we are expecting to leave so even though it's going to be upsetting to see this player leave we're all kind of expecting it so hopefully the club are expecting it as well and we are well stacked in that position or we're going to bring in uh, somebody else to replace this person but it has been reported today in the athletic and we know that the athletic are Pretty much, in my opinion, when it comes to the UK websites and newspapers, not that it is a tangible newspaper, but you know what I mean, it's that style of website, that they are the best, I'd say, or one of the best. But according to The Athletic, Manchester United are now in contact with Sander Berg's representatives as search for alternatives to Manuel Ugarta, who they were looking at, uh, and apparently... He says that Burnley are open to selling the player. So like I said, a lot of us have been expecting Sander to leave and we've been expecting a team in the Premier League to come in for him and, and take him off our hands. And even though it says the club are open to sell, it obviously means the club don't want to, doesn't mean the club want to lose him. But we all know with the business model, the price is right, so the player goes. I've seen quite a lot of stuff, actually. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I, again, I can't put it on here, but if you haven't seen it already, the main Man United sort of like YouTuber and, or, or whatever you want to call him, Mark Goldbridge, has had an absolute meltdown about this, saying he's not good enough, we shouldn't be going for these type of players. It's on our Facebook and it's on our Twitter and it's obviously on the United Stand, which is the, the channel that he created and, and does very... I have a lot of respect for Goldbridge. I know a lot of people like to give him stick, but he has done very, very, very well out of it. And I know it's easy to say he's a Man United fan and they're a big club, but there's so many small United channels. He talks a lot of crap, but I respect the fact that he's managed to, to make it so successful. But he has an absolute meltdown about Man United being linked to Sander Burge. And I hope that that not puts... I, 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 I was going to say I hope he puts him off, but let's be honest, it's, it's not going to put him off, is it? But I would think that players do sometimes have that in the back of the head. Like, do I really want to go to, to this club and, and get all this grief all the time? Is it really, really worth it? But... He'll back himself, of course he will, and if United are interested in him, which I have no reason to believe they're not, if, if the Athletic are saying it, then it should be interesting to see how he feels about this sort of reaction and things like that. I, I do sometimes feel that it's not worth all the hassle, but yeah, Sander Burge looks like he could be off. Like I said, nothing official yet. They've only just made contact with his representatives, but we know that things can start snowballing quickly from here. He did miss the game against Cadiz, interestingly, as I mentioned on yesterday's show at the weekend, but there was a couple of rumours about him being injured. In the end, I didn't get any confirmation on that, so I'm not sure if he was left out because of injury or because of some links away, but yeah. Looks like Manchester United and Sanderburg's representatives are now in contact about a potential move to Manchester United for the Norwegian. Now, another player that's been linked with a move away is Dara O'Shea. Now, I know Dara can split opinion, and at the start of last season, I didn't see too much from him and thought that maybe we'd, we'd signed somebody that wasn't really up to the job. He came on leaps and bounds during the season to the point where I think he, even when all the defenders are fit, I think he starts at centre back. And I would be, I'd be gutted to see Dara leave. Don't get me wrong, I criticised him at the start of last season, and I had a bit of a rant at Goodison Park when he got sent off in that match as well. But I do feel Dara's come on leaps and bounds and I don't think we should be selling him personally. I think, again, I say this about a lot of players this season, but again, a year in the Championship where he can build his confidence a little bit more and, and hopefully not make as many mistakes. He did stop making the mistakes as often towards the end of the season. Like I said, he came on and he got better. I would be surprised if we let him go. But... According to Sky Sports, 
Brentford have an interest in the Irish centre-back. The London club are in the market, they say, for a centre-back this summer, with the position being a priority for the Bees. Burnley, however, are asking for a significant fee for the defender. He's obviously got, you know, he's a newish signing. We obviously only signed him last summer, so he will have quite a while left on his contract. So it looks like we do have all the eggs in our basket on this one. And if Brentford want him, they're going to have to pay big bucks. However, what I also will say is centre-back is a position that we are very, very, very highly stacked at. Even the likes of uh, Al Dakil, who, who I thought was fantastic in the Championship last time around, admittedly, he was out of his depth in the Premier League. People are forgetting how good he was last time in the Championship. So you, you've got, obviously, Esteve, Bayer, O'Shea, Ekdal, Al Dakil, and then you've all the people that, I, that I've not got time to mention in this, it's just, we, we are so stacked at centre-back. So even if even though I don't want to lose him, and I don't, I, I think it'd be silly of the club to to accept a bid for Dora at this stage in his career, but if a bid comes in that matches this significant fee that Burnley want, and this then in turn means we can keep hold of maybe a, a Sander Burge or a Wilson Orderbear, then it might be something that we should look at. But, that's only because we are so stacked at centre-back. Admittedly, a few of them have got injuries at the minute. So we, we may have to start the season a little bit light at centre-back if we sell Dara. Um, but I like him. I feel I feel like he's potential future captain material as well from what I've been told behind the scenes. He, he, if, if he seems like he cares, whereas some other players don't. So I like him from from that. I like him from, you know, you could tell that he was getting better as the season went on last year and he was improving and he will be a very good Premier League defender, I think. Well, or is, but he just needs to cut out them mistakes. But yeah, uh, according to Sky Sports, Brentford are interested in in Burnley's Dover O'Shea, but Burnley are asking for a significant fee for the defender. So fingers crossed, in my opinion, that that puts Brentford off. Finally, and apologies, it's a third player that could be leaving. And again, it's another player that we're expecting to see leave. Not because he's good, but because he thinks he's good. Uh, and, and that's harsh before I get blocked by somebody else on Instagram. It's James Trafford, and he does have a very, very, very good future ahead of him. But I just feel he would benefit from a year in the Championship. But he obviously doesn't like Burnley. He doesn't want to be here. He doesn't, you know, he's, he doesn't have a good relationship with the fans, so... Whatever, I just can't see him ever wearing a Burnley shirt again. And I've been saying for ages, obviously everyone knows that the news about Newcastle, but some people and some reports, to be fair, came out about them signing a couple of goalkeepers and that they would no longer look at James Trafford. I've always stood by the fact that I expect them to come back in with another bid for James Trafford. And I have seen this today. I'll be honest with you, it is only from Give Me Sport. Uh, and I'm not sure what they're reputation is or, or how good it is but I, I can't see it being great but they are saying that Newcastle United are considering making a fresh offer for Burnley star James Trafford before the deadline uh, they actually go on say according to TalkSport um, so as a part of the TalkSport fan network I will obviously say that TalkSport are number one tier one whatever they say definitely comes in Obviously not, but um, don't say that to them. Uh, they reckon that the Magpies have been linked with the move for the England Youth International all summer and had a £16 million bid rejected earlier in the window before turning their attention to alternative targets. Eddie Howe has added John Ruddy on a free transfer from Birmingham City, while a name I'm not even going to try and pronounce uh, joined from Nottingham Forest in a £20 million deal, adding to current options Nick Port and Mark, Mark, Nick Pope, sorry. And Martin Dubravka for the upcoming season. So it does sound like they're quite well stacked at uh, the goalkeeper position. But Dubravka is expected to leave before the end of the window, apparently. So yeah, I fully expect James Trafford to leave Burnley. I've always said I, I expect Newcastle to come back in for him. Um, again, if he feels that he's ready to, to, to go to Newcastle and, and, and sit on the bench, he always said he wouldn't sit on the bench. Like I remember an interview that he did uh, towards the end of his time at Bolton saying, wherever I go next, I want to be playing football. I, I'm not built to sit on the bench. I don't ever want to sit on the bench. And then obviously he came in and, and came straight in as Burnley's number one. He won't get that at Newcastle, so he will have to be prepared to actually sit on the bench and maybe humble himself a little bit. Uh, but yeah, according to Talk Sport, sorry, not Give Me Sport, James Trafford is expected, uh, sorry, Newcastle are looking to come in with another bid for James Trafford. But again, 
I don't think many Burnley fans will be losing sleep over that. I still expect us to come in, uh, sorry, to, to go for another goalkeeper. And obviously we've signed Haladke. And there's Etienne Green, who is about to join as well, who had his medical on Monday. But yeah, Talk Sports saying that Newcastle United are expected to come in with another bid. I'm going to end it there. That's it. Um, unfortunately, not great news today. Three players linked with moves away. Uh, one very, very, very important player who we've expected to leave. One player we were expecting to keep, to be fair, in Dara Roche and one player who's not a big player um, because we've expected him to leave and we don't expect him to stay next season as well. So interesting. Let me know what you think in the comments below about your thoughts on today's news and I will hopefully be back tomorrow with some good news, some incomings hopefully.